Hi everyone, this is your tarot reading for the month of May. Some of this will also still reflect on what's going on here in April, all right? And touching down upon, of course, the COVID-19, we're all in this same boat, hunkering down, right? Processing. What are we processing, right? I mean, for some people who always wanted more time, you know, you could have think, thought that this would be a good thing, you know, to have time down. But then again, of course, it's not really. What I get is that so many people, maybe even you too, find yourself totally tired and exhausted, not really knowing what to do with yourself, right? And it's just because of human nature. We're not used to this, right? But we're all in the same boat. Now, look at this spread. This spread is actually not bad at all. All right, so we're going to try to dissect what it really means for you because what we're also seeing is that this pandemic with Jupiter and Pluto, you know, nothing speeds up and expands faster than the planet of Jupiter. We know how big it is, right? And Pluto represents the pandemic. Now, the pandemic, death, rebirth, all of this is also about restructure ourselves, our lives, our consciousness, our collective consciousness, because it's global. Pluto ruling the masses, Jupiter ruling international. Put these two together, and yeah, what do we get? We get what we're seeing now. Now, we had that under the Spanish flu, 1918. We also had the pandemic, same kind of constellation. But see, here today, we have also uh, have Saturn in the mix. Now, Saturn is the lockdown, especially because Saturn now entering into Aquarius, which is being social. Think about Saturn, the planet of the rings, right? Holding people in quarantine, hunkering down, right? So, I mean, it's massive energy, but what can we do? And that is what we're going to be focusing on here. What can we do to make the most out of this? Why? This is so meant to be. Nothing happens by coincidence at all. We've had Saturn going through Capricorn here over the last year or two, two and a half years. And so what we've learned and derived from it is materialism. What values are we working on? Have they been good, solid, positive? Or have we just been throwing ourselves, meaning throwing all the plastic into the ocean, <laughs> right? We've been expanding too fast in commodities and materialism and whatnot. Saturn has now said, we're putting a break on this. This is no longer good. How can we reinvent ourselves? Now, that is the positive of Jupiter and Pluto, expanding our consciousness. How can we create a better society once we're out of this? Saturn and Aquarius, which rules social media and the internet, well, we're getting a lot of energy coming from it because we're going to find how social media is going to be restructuring itself, not the least also because the ruler of Aquarius, which is um, Uranus, is in the sign of Taurus, right? So we're going to find a whole lot of new inventions coming out. This is for you. This is for all of us collectively here now in the month of May. We are coming somewhat out of where we've been feeling things have been very difficult. We've been tired, we've been exhausted, we don't know, haven't known where or how far all of this is going to go, right? So, of course, there's been a lot of thoughts and many of you have OD'd probably on the news, you know, getting updates every half hour, every hour, and of course, mentally, that has been draining your energy. What I would like to say to all of you is, per today, we know what to do, how to do it. You know, we wash our hands. We, we wash them like surgeons, right? Get up to your forearms and whatnot. We know the mask and so we know how to disinfect. We know that. We know to stay six feet apart from anybody else for now. Of course, later on, that's going to lift. But what it's doing collectively is that we're getting a different understanding of how to interact and doing it in a good way. Saturnian way, as Saturn goes 
here through the sign of Aquarius. So this can linger. We're going to change over these next two and a half years while Saturn goes through the sign. That doesn't mean we're going to be in quarantine <laughs> for two and a half years. But coming out of this, we will learn. And I have to tell you before we get into the cards, astrologically, being an astrologer, you know, yes, we're going to start lifting and rising. Out of this, slowly moving forward here throughout summer, uh, both Jupiter and Pluto will be retrograde. They're going to be weaker. They're still traveling in close orbit to one another, but they're going to be weaker. But then both these planets are going to go direct again into the autumn, all the way straight through the end of 2020, meaning we can get a second round of this. We might look at things lifting summertime somewhat, but I would say don't jump too quickly still be aware, you know, and still start building a little bit of a pantry so there won't be, you know, all this hoarding that we saw initially uh, so that you will have a little bit of a stockpile there for autumn. But we're talking May. Let's get on to May. So now that you're coming out of this very exhausted phase where you've been tired or just binging on Netflix and whatnot and social media uh, just to get through your days. Well, what I want you to focus on is your creativity, your talents, your skills, because a lot is changing and this is going to last for a long time. The way you work, who you work with, the companies that you work for, all of this is going to be changing. Nobody's still really going to know where it's all going and where it's going to end up right? But know your talents, know your skills. Now, uh, the uh, stimulus checks have probably been going out here already now in April, so you're feeling a little bit more secure when it comes to at least money, income to be able to pay your bills. Uh, it's still a challenge, but this is why I'm saying in your downtime, instead of binging on the news and social media, with negative news that's just going to bring your energy down and deplete you, I want you to focus on your worth. You know, this is actually in so many ways a cosmic blessing. The slowdown is allowing us to look at what's important for us, what, what we spiritually, mentally, emotionally value, and how we're going to come out of this pandemic with more appreciation for those things that are worth it right? We're looking at what we no longer want. And so all that is good. Let's flush that out here. Let's focus on those things that are really, truly important to us. Now, again, your creativity, talent, skills, your knack and know-how. How can you reinvent yourself? Jupiter and Pluto, in a positive sense, is humongous. It can bring you so many things that you wouldn't have realized just a few months ago, let alone years ago. This comes around every 12 to 13 years and allows us to reinvent ourselves in positive ways. So let's say all this is the negative, that's the virus. What is positive? Let's even turn this one around. What is positive? What do you appreciate? What do you value? Which strengths do you have? What is now coming up here in your consciousness as far as how you can be creative, take charge, a new direction maybe will be opening up where you're, you're really balanced and focused in charge of your direction, you know, so be the chariot, take steering, don't allow yourself to kind of just go off the edge with the collective negativity, no, find out how this can be positive for you, how can you make your imprint upon your day-to-day -day life, upon the world, with positive energy. Remember, Jupiter is always very gracious and abundant with all that happy-go-lucky energy. Find your joy. Find your energy, which is um, creative, where you can bring energy out to the world. You want to see here, too, to pay attention to your dreams, your inspiration. Now, I've heard for many people, and a lot of you too, how inspiration and wanting to create or do anything has just gone down the drain as well, where motivation totally disappeared. 
vanished, gone. And I think that was true for many people because first we had to get through the shock factor of, oh my God, this is happening and it's real. Coming out of the shock, then comes apathy and feeling lethargic. There's no, we can't go out, we can't do anything. I'm just going to lay in bed, watch Netflix, <laughs> All right? And then that drains our energy because truth is, the busier we are, the more we do, the more energy we have and get from it. The less we do, down to just bare minimum of just eating, doing nothing, we lose energy. Get your energy up and going. Do not allow yourself to just pump yourself full with negative energy. You be in charge, okay? And see this as an extended vacation. Now you have time to go do all the projects that you in the past wanted to do, never had any time to do it. Now you do have time, so get on board with it. Start it right now, and you will see how you're going to blast up with all that incredible energy while you're waiting. Why? Because you're still going to be waiting. We all are still going to be waiting. How many more weeks do we have to be here, you know, in quarantine and be apart from what's going on over there? But make this waiting period positive. Make it work for you, right? At least, thank God, we do have technology. We do have FaceTime. We got all this that we can go and speak with our family, our children, our grandchildren, you know, across the state lines, out of country, we are still connected. So it's not all that bad. Thank God. Now, if this was back in the day, before we had that, it would have been even worse. But we have it. Now, communication, yes, it's important. Here you can see all these messages, each of them being important messages or even thoughts. Let me tell you, your creativity, if it went down the drain because all you were doing was binging on negative news, right, or, or just sleeping, well, it's going to come back to you. So watch how it's going to peak. All of these could be very inspired um, senses of uh, information or ideas that you could pick up. I love it. You know, and then take action upon them. You know, it's you now listening to inspiration taking charge, being creative. Use this time to the best extent that you can. Because down the road, you know, I'm thinking it's lifting here, coming into June, June, July, August, might be somewhat better. Maybe not exactly back to exactly the way it was, because things have changed. More will change. But I'm thinking we might get a second round later in the year, so the whole virus can actually affect us for, for the main part, the most part of 2020, maybe even into 21, because then we're in influenza season there, January, February, and March, you know, for the usual influenzas. Now the strain of the COVID can move over there too. So we want to be empowered, not disempowered, right? So listen, guys, I love you. <laughs> You know, you rock. You're absolutely fabulous. I appreciate you. Much love to all of you. Stay safe. You know what to do. And now I want to see you grow. I want to see you expand. Use this powerful, beautiful Jupiter to expand your consciousness. And I'll see you next month. Bye now.